Hello and welcome to Producer Profile. Producer Profile is a show where we showcase some of the talented people who work behind the scenes in the entertainment, business, and local communities while making positive influences on the lives of others. Welcome to Producer Profile. I'm Stella Winston. And I'm Orville Nelson. And what you hear is the sound of Bernice Boom Boom Brooks. Let's hear it. That was a little Cajun Zydeco music there. Okay. Yeah. A little second line, as they call it. Second line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Bernice Brooks is a producer yes, uh, here at uh, BCAT, and that's why she's on Producer's Profile with us today. She, and the name of uh, her show is The Bernice Brooks Show? Yes. yes it is. And it is a weekly. Mm -hmm. And you, you go live now. Yeah, I'm going live. Yes, I've been live a couple of times. Already. Well, welcome to the live. show. Thank welcome you. Welcome to Producer Profile. Thank you for being, having me here, and thank you to France for having me here. I really so appreciate it. Tell us before we go on uh, the exact time and um, the show comes My on. show is on, on Thursdays at 2.30 p.m and 10.30 uh, p.m. on uh, channel 35 of Turner and 68 of Cable. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. What's it like going live? It's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, you know. You mess up, whatever, it's, it's on, you're on it. So. People see, get to see the real deal. They, right to right. air, so right. that's good. It's a good and I'm experience. sure they will see some real good talents. So. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah, so. I've worked on your show before, yeah. and you always have some interesting Talent. That's a good way to put it. Yes, and you, you always <laughs> seem to incorporate dance yes. some sort of way. Yes, yes, I love dance. I love tap dancing, actually. Uh, I had to, I've taken a few movement classes where, you know, you have the movement and stuff like that, and you move in time. But tap dance, I think, is my favorite. Some of the old uh, drummers used to, t jazz drummers, and used to tap. Buddy Rich was a great tap dancer, as well as a great uh, drummer. But some of the older guys were, you know, well, you, you mentioned tapping. Now, mm -hmm. tapping could be considered a percussive instrument. Yes, it is. It okay. is percussion. Could you tell us now, uh, piano is also a percussion Percussive, instrument? yes. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of people don't realize uh, Acoustic, that. you would say. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the thing with the piano is that it has, you can have the whole orchestra. People write the whole everything with the piano. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about it. And I tune my drums to certain notes on the piano. And it's going to know what keys that some of the uh, songs are in. Like a lot of music, like a lot of drummers, it's good to do know the key and you know what you're listening for and uh, the thing with drums too what people don't realize is you got to know the beginning of the song you got to know the verse you got to know the chorus you have to know the bridge and you have to know the out so I you know it's almost a formula you have to know but it's very time it's timing is rhythms okay talking about timing there. Mm -hmm. yeah we have a videotape of your opening to your show <laughs> and it's an opening that when most people see it you know they they love it. Yeah, let them love it. Yeah, it's a it's a compilation. Actually, I have to give uh, credit to Andrew Gidoni for putting that together for editing that. Okay, great. Uh, it's a compilation of different gigs I've done, and di I've done commercials. I've done uh, one of the Japanese videos I've done. And, so uh, let's let them see that right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Great. Excellent. Now, Bernice, <laughs> do 
beautiful intro. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> visual. And yeah, in the beginning, you're coming down some steps. Well, well you know, that, that, was a, that, a, a, that was a commercial with the producers of Stomp. And they had a, they did a commercial for Target. Target. And before, that was before Target came all the way to the west, the east coast here. And I had to go up about 12 steps and come down 12 steps. The first one I had, that was with a, um, uh, uh, the barbecue grill. So I carried the barbecue grill for two days. <laughs> then the second one was about... <laughs> two th days straight? It, it was about, yeah. <laughs> it was, well, I mean, the, you, you, you start at 7, 8 o'clock in the oh, morning. Okay. Right. You go till late. Yes, but you do get some sleep. You, oh, yeah, yeah. I got a little sleep right, there, okay, you know, but I had to be back for the... Yeah. And that was... Um, the, the second one I, I didn't have was the one that had... It's a, some kind of apparatus they had. What I'm playing... Uh, pots and pans. So I, I reversed back to where I started. Pots and pans. You oh, know. Yeah. The second one was a Japanese um, artist from Japan came over here, and that was in that was shot in um, uh, Williamsburg. Mm. That was in some place that was just rats and roaches and all kind of places. But it was actually it had a lot of personality for that particular uh, video. I wanted to jump in with something. Mm -hmm. You are a woman. Yes. Yes, and you are a drummer. Yes. Is that, is that unusual in this business? No, there's a lot of mm -hmm. great drummers. I give respect to all of them. Cindy Blackman, who's with, you know, who uh, Lenny Kravitz. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, um, I can't think of her name right now. She was doing this. She's uh, working with Herbie Hancock, but I can't think of her name right now. There's a lot of great female drummers out here, actually. And in terms of history, just present day? Uh, no, history has been mm -hmm. around, too. You had the Sweethearts of Soul, mm -hmm. um, Sweethearts of Rhythm, I think it was, the, back in maybe the 30s or the 40s, the women that were playing the big band. Because the women were playing the instruments when the men were over in the war. Uh -huh. They were the ones playing. Uh -huh. You know, I had a, I had a, well, I call a young lady, uh, Colleen Ray. I had her on my show. She was with the Sweetheart of Red. So how did you start playing drums? How, oh, I can't, uh, don't know. Uh, my, uh, my mother and father, uh, which I found out later, were, they loved music. But uh, my thing started actually when I was 18 years old. And... Um, I just picked up some Congo drums and we were playing around and stuff. And then uh, somebody said, "Hey, this guy's got a drum set that he does. He works, so he can't practice." So I had him for two months, and I practiced and practiced and practiced. And uh, one of my first gigs was actually a big band. I couldn't believe it because I was still learning how to read music and everything. So drummers do know how to ha have to know how to read. Uh, and everything. And from there, I just started doing other gigs around Chicago because I'm from Chicago. So you're self-taught? No, huh? no, I went to school. We conserve, okay. I actually went to the conservatory of music and I had a lot of great teachers. Mm -hmm. One is Thurman Barker, uh, one is Thurman Turner. Uh, Thurman Barker is with the ACM as far as I know, and Thurman Turner, I'm not quite sure where he is. But he, I had, one of the, they both had different styles. One of the guys was uh, 300 pounds, and he was the one that held out a piece of paper and said, play on that and don't, and don't you know, tear it. I did that, and he showed me actually the sensitivity of, of being a female drummer. So the drummers again? don't have to... Uh, he took a piece of well, paper and he, what did he do? He held that out. So if you can hold both... Let okay. uh, uh, Oville hold So if you it. hold it on yeah. both sides. Okay. Yeah, so... Learn how to use your Without technique. Without breaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he was the one that showed me you could play anything as loud as you can saw. And all my techniques, how to sit, how to uh, hold the sticks correctly, he, you know, I had some great teachers and everything. And, I, and I'm still learning because I'm learning, um, now that they have great videos out and everything, you can learn from videos. Now, how many different uh, styles uh, oh, ah, do okay. you play? <coughs> well, I thank God I'm blessed to be able to work because I play a lot of different styles. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm a master of any, but I can, you know. Uh, I play a little country music, bluegrass, uh, polkas, Latin. I, you know, you know, you know, you have jazz, and then you have the jazz blues shuffle. Then you have the blues shuffle. So that's, you know, when I tell people the blues has different feels, mm -hmm. it's all different feels to it. But I play Charleston. I play a little bit of all. Could style. you show us a little bit of a, of a particular? Okay. Well, I, I, I'll show you a little bossa nova, and then I'll show you the difference between a bossa nova and a um, uh, samba beat, which is still on the rim. They say of it. So bossa nova is like. Now, uh, a little bit of uh, um, the uh, samba is like, okay. And you can play. So that's a little different between the Brazilian stuff. Now, when it comes to, like, coming up the Caribbean, where a lot of people think reggae is a, a, a feel. 
more or less than, you know, a lot of people say I can't play reggae, but reggae is just three. It's like the drop three. One love, one heart. <laughs> You're feeling it. I know, I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's, it's a feel, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the some of the best musicians have taught me say you can play anything, but if you don't have the feel on it, forget it. Okay. Now, uh, like a little. Uh, So that, and then maybe Cuba, you do the, uh, the, uh, the like sauce. So I'm learning that because I haven't got my clave on the, so any of the drummers out there, I haven't got my clave on my left foot yet, but it's coming. So you work on it? I'm working on it, Okay. Yes. Now, what are you doing in terms of playing the most of these days? The most, I'm sorry. The most stuff, the type of music, rock um, and roll? I, well, or? it's interesting. I did a gig in the summer, and a guy gave me a very good compliment. He said, you're the infusion of the band. So it was interesting. I was like, the infusion, because I couldn't understand what he said. It's because I can change to any particular style. If we're playing swing, then I could play swing. <laughs> you know, if I'm playing... Uh, 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 Another thing, the drummer should know the material and just can be able to sing it in their head, too. So you can, and I like to dance at all this kind of music, so that helps me, too. To, okay, then let's go to Cuba. And then, okay, this is how they do it. The merengue. Something like that. <laughs> now, one of the things I noticed about your show, I've worked on her show a few times, mm -hmm. you're always about teaching children, okay. the young people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that seems to be a very important component of your show. Yes, yes. Um, I, I want the kids, like this is an acoustic instrument actually, uh, we, you know, uh, uh, there's no electricity here, everything has to come from human power, and uh, I go through sticks and I go through pedals, so I don't, you know, guitar players touch the, the instrument, piano players touch the instrument, horn players actually touch their instruments even though they go through a mouthpiece. But with drums, you know, I have to go through the sticks and everything. Mm -hmm. Now I can play with my hands, you know. <laughs> you know, I can play with my hands. <laughs> I <laughs> like I that sound. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, to learn an instrument. You know, um, I, I've called VH1 and a few other places to show. You know, I, I, I hate to say this, but I, I'm going to. Uh, if I pass away, I want to give my ki my stuff to other kids in schools that where kids are really interested in, in doing uh, that. But I try to tell the big kids too because some people say, well what is that? I say, well, just call, you call this the hi-hat. It's two symbols together and you push it down like now, that. Now there are some famous boom boom sayings. <laughs> and one of the sayings that always comes out on her show or in conversation is do something. something. I don't what care. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I do don't care if you, remember how you used to put a piece of paper with a comb and you go <laughs> That's a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. You know, you put two uh, uh, spoons together, you know, clack, 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 clack. You know, the washboard. The washboard. The well, washboard is still being played yeah. within uh, Cajun music. Mm -hmm. They still play that down in New Orleans. Some churches and still use it. They sure do. Right. You know, I was, it's interesting. <laughs> Yesterday I did a church gig, and I, I could play the newer stuff, but I was more old style, because I'm like, uh, uh, we were doing um, uh, uh, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it. See, now, that's... in the olden days, it was <laughs> like nothing I but bass that drum. Like that. That's all you had was bass drum. So everybody, and the tambourine. This little line. Now, the other drummer, he was more. <laughs> you know, he was a little busier for the music. That's what I was oh, trying okay. to say. So, showing kids that how you can know when to play, know, know when not to play. You have to interpret music. Even, even drummers have to interpret music. Um, uh, one of the drummers what that played. What do you played, mean by interpret? But we'll interpret the song, you know, um, how, it, how the song is, how the singer sings the song, you know, how the other musicians play acclimate. the song. Exactly. How the other musicians play the music, you know, I have to listen to the bass player. I listen to everybody, you know, just like with my crew. Uh, to me, when I bring something in, my crew is my band for that day. Even if I have a band here, we're all the band. Yeah. And the only thing I say is timing. You know, whatever you do, make sure to time it. I don't care what else you do. Timing is it, you know. And now um, you all, another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Be creative. 
creative. Ah, uh, yes. And I find that on her show, she's <laughs> being creative by incorporating dance with the music. Mm -hmm. And there's a B-roll, there's a videotape that we have <laughs> of her show where she's doing just that. You're going to see it now? Yeah. We're going to see that now? Oh, my God. Okay, this is, uh, on this tape, <clears throat> This is, uh, the music is not playing, but these are tap dancers, yes, right? Yes, tap dancers, yeah, and there's some young tap dancers. Okay. So, sometimes I have the older people on, sometimes I have the younger, and these are the young ones, and they, they were showing me stuff, and they're very good, actually. Okay. So this, I don't know which part of the uh, video is, just a little, uh, little simple lesson telling you how to do your step okay. heels. And Let's take a look at that. Okay. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Right? <laughs> it's, um, it's just a combination of shuffles and... Step. Combinations, there's another thing. Okay, combination. <laughs> okay, now, um, let me see a flap. A flap is, it's, it's like a tighter version of a shuffle okay. that stays. That stays. Like a certain direction. Okay. It stays on the ground. Uh, slurp. Ah, the, what's the difference between a, slap, a flap and a slurp? A flap is all your toe, mm -hmm. and a slurp is two sounds and the slurp has three sounds mm. and it's mm. so it's like a heel toe but you're touching it before now, you can do you do it from right then left for me i think i can do that wait a minute All right. Whoa. i'm tapping i'm rapping anyway <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now, um, paddle and roll. What's a paddle and roll? Double. Single. You see that, ladies and gentlemen? And the kids, boys and girls, you see that? Excellent, excellent. Now, I want to give each one of them, uh, well, I don't know if Dustin can do anything, but I want you guys to do a little improv, uh, you first, and you, and to just see, um, do it slowly, just to see some of the basic steps that we just, you showed the audience and everything. Okay? Now, you, yeah. you okay by yourself? What you want, you want to do a little something? Uh, no, I'll just be trying to be honest. Okay, excellent. Sure. Dustin is going to play drums for us. Ah. Okay. Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah. Can you pick out those steps we just told you? So you you were asking that uh, you you thought you heard her playing yeah, behind the music. Yeah, I did hear the um, well, um, drums. On being one of the parts, I was I was playing on behind the uh, behind them. Uh, that one, I think that the tall kid was playing behind that, doing that right there. And you also said he had a broken foot. He had a broken foot, and he was still tap dancing. He now, was not the one that was doing the wild. No, no, he oh, wasn't oh. doing. <laughs> those are called a broken foot. Right? Those are calling. Those are called wings. He's a great tapper, also. Yeah. Um, but those are just things that to show people that you could talk with your feet. Then talk with your feet, you know, and you do the, the basic, you learn the basic rhythms and then you, you put them all together as with patterns, as with the, what, the way I play here too. But I think even tapping has made my jazz drumming even better. For well, well, tell us something. Mm -hmm. Who have you worked with? Can you name some names? Oh, oh whoa, whoa. Okay, let me, my beginning was with the staple singers. They were the ones really? that kind of put me out. Uh, I play behind, I, I'm not her drummer, but I, in certain gigs I play behind Patti LaBelle. Uh, I play behind, um, 
You, I'm sorry I didn't bring my thing. Now oh, I can't, you, it's so funny, I can't remember well, who those I played two were just enough. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, some, some of the great tap dancers I really, I really have appreciate playing behind, like um, Savion Glover and uh, Gregory Hines. But I played around a, a lot of, and, and shared the bill with a lot of different people. I do want to say one woman, Terry Thornton, who was one of my favorite singers. She's passed on now, but I just want to give her a little plug. Too. Okay. Now, as a drummer, as an artist, mm -hmm. is it, and being in New York City, mm -hmm. Is it financially as sound as you'd like it to be um, right now? Uh, well, I think I am blessed. Mm -hmm. um, I think the first year I was here, I, well, I was like, knock, knock, my, my fingers were raw from knocking on the door. Wow. But ever since then, I've been really blessed. I, the first four years, I, I worked with Mom, I Want to Sing. And that was another, uh, a lot of stars have gotten, come from that, too. Uh, then I, I do a lot of club dates, so I, and I travel and do, I've done festivals around the world. I, I've been to Japan about seven times. I've been to Europe, I don't know how many times. So I've been, I, I'm blessed to really work as a musician. I, I will say it now to the whole uh, community that I am getting ready to start my own group. I, I've been a little shy about starting my own group because it is a lot of work. And I hope I've been the kind of drummer that people would hire, so I guess I have because I will, uh, I, know, I know how to read. So I'm not, um, I'm not, um, how would you say, um, I could, it's only a few gigs I would turn down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really blessed. I'm working the rest of this week. So and what will your name of your group be? Do you have a name? No, I don't. It, okay. Well, a lot of people say use your own name. Okay. So I would probably use the Bernice Brooks Band, okay, good. Dave Matthews Band. You know, uh, Stevie Wonder uses his name. And that's uh, a good thing for people out there to recognize, mm -hmm, too. You know, mm -hmm. yourself is very important. Right, exactly. Well, I mean, everybody uses his name. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, um, Mariah Carey uses her name, yeah. you know, or her band might be called something. Mm -hmm. But it would be the Bernice Brooks band. Yes. Now, Bernice, you're, you work a lot with children. Yes, I love children. Uh, you, work, you work in the educational system, mm -hmm. and yes. you seem to enjoy it. I what love you, it. What's your uh, relationship with children when you are uh, teaching them about music? Well, I, you first of all, I guess I try to t uh, talk to kids as if, if they're a person. Mm. And I give them respect. I don't, you know, if I'm talking to them, like, I don't want to go talk down to them like they're children. I'm going to talk to them because most of them are smarter than we take for granted. You know, smarter than a lot of adults, too. Ad <laughs> they are smarter <laughs> than a lot of adults. So I try to relate. Uh, uh, real life situations to them. You know, if you're playing out in a club or if you're doing this or you're doing that, you know, you have to, it's a protocol the way you do things, you know. It's a protocol to even the way you study. For instance? Well, I mean, if I was to show them uh, how to play drums, the first thing I would show them is how to sit on the seat. You know, sit, sit them on the seat like this, okay. how to hold your stick, <laughs> okay? And, you, and, and I play with the natural fold of my arms, just natural fold, okay. just almost military. <laughs> Now, we're going to do this one thing here, okay? You could do that sitting there. Now, it's right hand and left hand, right? right. And it's right foot and left foot. We're just going to do the left hand with the right foot. So we're going to go boom, chick. Okay. So the right foot go boom, chick. Okay. Gotcha. Okay? No, so with the right foot, huh? I don't have that. Is that the left foot or the right foot? Uh, it's the right foot, right foot. Okay, good. boom, and left hand. Okay, good. So one, two, three, four. So one is on your bass drum okay. and your two is on your left hand. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three. Now here you go. Boom, boom, chick. Boom, chick. Boom, boom, chick. Boom, chick. Boom, boom, chick. Boom. See how easy it is to play drums? Now getting technical with it and putting the left hand in is something else. Boom, chick. Boom, <laughs> And I always tell kids, keep it basic. Learn the basics. You can always learn how to solo and play real fast. But if you don't get gigs that do, you know, do you have to play like that? You got to play simple. Keep it simple. Learn your, learn your rudiments. Learn, you know, how to keep, you know, bass drum, learn how to play your different thing. I play both ways when I have to. You know, I can play this way. You know, I can play. You know, so in, in, in the approach. And when you're playing a long time, you always have to sit very straight and just.
Let's go do your dance. <laughs> she wants to be a. <laughs> I want to be on. a flamenco dancer. Come on. Uh, yeah. da, 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 da. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, well, if you don't know, I can do okay. what you did. Okay. I think I think I finished it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she, she's got shy. Bernice okay. Brooks, when does your show come on again? It comes on uh, t Thursdays at 2.30 and 10.30. Uh, and it's called The Bernice Brooks The Bernice Brooks, Brooks Show. And it's on which channel? Uh, uh, channel 35 and 68. 68. And do something. Do something. Like you, you have a beautiful show. Both of you have a beautiful show. Yours is very informative. Yours is informative. I like and informative. Yours is informative also. Is informative. And we're very happy to have had you it here. It is my pleasure. Thank and, you, Franz. Uh, much progress. Yes, sir. And... Uh, Please, check out the Bernice Brooks <laughs> show. <laughs> boom, boom. So come on, why don't you guys play right quick? Um, I think we've designated you. Okay. <laughs> I'm the guinea pig here, huh? Okay. okay. So I'm just going to unhook you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I, I don't know how much longer we have. Okay. I think we're off. Okay. 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 So, uh, go. Okay. Boom.